with the next one. Suppose a researcher wanted to know if there is a significant difference between the antibacterial strength of guava parts extract using guava leaf, guava flowers, and guava fruit against E. coli. Now you are given three treatments T1 100%, T2 75-25, T3 50-50. Um, these are the concentrations. Now you are tasked to create an appropriate research design structure using a commercial antibacterial drug as a control. Now to solve this, you must need to identify first the type of research design you will use. So the type of research design you that you will use in this one is CRD. Number two, identify the treatments. So there are four types of guava part guava parts that was and that and that will be used in this study so for i3 four treatments three parts of guava plant g plant so how to um write this correctly so we start with guava leaf so you can write gl for guava leaf for guava flower g l and for guava Uh, fruit GFR to better classify the parts of the guava plant. Now you are given three concentrations. So T1 is 100%. You need to um, to give each part the treatments so, so t1 gl or treatment 1 guava leaf will be 100 to 0 t1 gfl will be 100 is to 0 t1 gfr will be 100 is to 0. The next one, T2, GL, T2, GF, GF, L, T3, GFR, they will all be 75, 75, 75, 25 to 25 then treatment 3 t3 e3 so gl gfl gfr so these are all 50 50 oops let me erase that 50, 50, 50. Now, there is a missing treatment which is the control, the bacterial drug. So, let's write control positive na lang. Positive. CP. So, T1, CP. Ang siyang 100 is to 0. E2, CP, magiging siyang 75 is to 25. T3, CP, magiging siyang 50 
50 so complete now we number three uh, we identify or determine the number of um, experimental unit to be used in this in this certain problem so ilang treatments or how many treatments so there are three treatments but how many types of treatments so there are four so 12 na ka agad yung treatments treatments multiplied by 3 so 36 eu now let's try to do the structure of this of the research de research design for this particular question now remember that your eu is e coli you can denote e coli as e now you have computed that you need 36 experimental units so you number e coli 1 to e coli 36 now you need to assign all of these experimental unit under a specific treatment so when you apply that it will look like this one so we have here treatment one for guava leaf you randomly assign e1 e16 and e20 now you have here treatment three for the control or the positive control you randomly assign e31 e9 and e35 so again we go back to the principles um randomization as well as replication how many replicates per treatment there are three replicates per treatment so one two three are they randomly assigned yes they are so you abide with the principle of research design we proceed to the last question suppose a researcher wanted to know the larvicidal effect of ipil ipil leaf extract against differently aged mosquito larvae so we have here three um, variations of the age of mosquito larvae first is five day old second is ten day old and the last one is 13 day old and you are to use three treatments t1 100 t2 75 25 and t3 50 50. now this problem is not similar with the previous two questions because you need to block or categorize or group the mosquito larvae according to their age and so you will apply rc bd or randomized complete block design so how many blocks do we have we have three blocks l1 l2 and l3 L1 is for 5 day old, L2 is for 10 day old, and L3 is for 13 day old. Number 3, how many treatments? So there are 3 treatments T1, T2, and T3. Now, how many EU will you use? Now, to calculate the experimental unit, you need to take into consideration the block and the treatments and so to calculate you just need to multiply um just need to multiply the blocks so let's say three blocks multiplied by three treatments three treatments 
will be 9 multiplied by 3 replicates. Now it will yield a 27 EU. However, you will not number M1 to M27. You will not number your EU from M1 to M27. Why not? Because of the presence of your block. Now divide this one into 3 and you will have a result of 9 EU per block. So 9 EU for this one, 9 EU for this one, and 9 EU for this one. And so you will label your EU from M1 to M9, M1 to M9, M1 to M9. Understood? Now, let's lay out your RCBD. So I prefer it this way, L1, L2, L3. Um, this column is for the block or for the age of the mosquito larvae. On top of this is for the treatments, T1, T2, and T3. Now, randomly assigned your EU M1 to M9 to the three different treatments, M T1, T2, and T3. Say, for example, you want to assign here M8, M6, M1. Here naman is M2, M5, M7, M3, M9, M4. Then again, you proceed with your second block. You randomly assign your EU to each of the following treatment. So you may copy this one, M8, M6, M1, M9, M3, M4, M5, M2, M7. The same thing with your third block, which is for 13 day old M8, M6, M1, M9, M3, M4, M5, M2, M7. So that's it. You already and already finished the structure for this question. Now what is missing for this particular problem is the presence of the control. In a laboratory setup, um, the technician always use a control to serve as the basis for significant difference. Any question for this one? If you do have a question, please don't hesitate to uh, personally message me and or email me. Okay, so here are the references for my presentation. And so let me end my video lesson for today. Thank you, and I hope you learned something from it. God bless, and be safe always.